हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर टेक इज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ काइनामेटिक्स काइनामेटिक्स दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड विथ डिस्टेंस वेलोसिटी एंड टाइम बट बिफोर डायरेक्टली स्टार्टिंग टू दिस प्रॉब्लम्स we'll discuss about some basics that is the three basic formulas of kinematics they are v is equals to u plus at second one is v square is equals to u square plus twice of as and the third one is s is equals to ut plus half at square where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity a is the acceleration t is the time and s is the distance so though we see these three formulas but most of the time student use the formula s is equals to ut that is the distance is equals to velocity into time sometimes we found that most of the student get confused that they Uh, found that whether s by u is equals to t or s by s u is equals to t or u is equals to s t so this is the confusion so today we will discuss how this formula get derived so everyone know that is the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity that is the acceleration e is dv by dt v final minus v initial upon time if v is equals to u then we have acceleration is equals to 0 Let's substitute that acceleration in the formula number three. Let's further derive that formula. S is equals to u t plus half into if we put acceleration is equals to zero into time square, then we get s is equals to u t. That is the distance is equals to velocity. into time here we may say the distance as displacement also and velocity as speed also because here we are dealing with the problems in only one direction so distance and displacement are one and the same so let us discuss about some of the questions related with the formula s is equals to ut so here is the problem a car started its journey from city a to city b with initial velocity 20 km per hour both the cities are 60 km apart find the time required for the journey as explained in the previous videos it is better habit to note down the key points from the questions as a given section so let's start with the solution we have what is the given in the question first u that is the initial velocity of a car is 20 km per hour 
then the distance between the cities that is uh, denoted by s is 60 km and now what to find we are asked to find the time required for the journey if you find the difference between the units of the velocity and the distance then only the need of unit conversion is there if you find here 20 meter per second then you need to convert that into kilometer per hour if you find the distance given in the meters then you need to convert that uh, distance as per the units of the velocity so here both the units are in kilometer per hour and kilometer so there is no need of the uh, unit con conversion and also after writing this data for the better interpretation of questions we need to draw a diagram so here is the city city A and city B and the journey is from a car the car runs at a speed of at a velocity of 20 km per hour and the distance between city A and city B is 60 km now because of this diagram we don't need to look at the problem anymore because we have simplified the problem with the help of diagram now we know the formula that is the uh, acceleration is constant here if not mentioned acceleration in the question then we assume that acceleration is equals to zero and we know the formula for zero acceleration that is the s is equals to ut so put the values 60 kilometer is equals to velocity is 20 kilometer per hour into time kilometer get cancelled 23 is a 60 therefore time required for the journey is 3 hour so this is what the approach to solve the problems of the kinematics or any problem of the aptitude thank you like share and subscribe our channel computer tech is thanks for watching